Well, it was in limbo for a while, but the Beaulieu government has finally decided to proceed with the regional rail link project. The coalition had expressed reluctance to push on with it, accusing Labor of presiding over millions of dollars in cost blowouts. From State Parliament, Anna MacDonald reports. Touted as a solution to Victoria's endless train problems, the regional rail link was one of Labor's proudest initiatives. But like a number of their projects, it's been on ice since the change of government. The previous Labor government was so sloppy, sloppy. The minister says that sloppiness has led to cost blowouts of more than a billion dollars. The original price tag was $4.3 billion, a figure Labor was loath to repeat today. What is the cost that the previous government, your previous government, had on this project? We will know the cost of this project when all of the tenders have been returned to government. The project now won't be finished until 2016. The delay is likely to give some Footscray residents more time before their homes are bulldozed to make way for the new train tracks aimed at easing congestion on city and country lines in the city's west. While the government's been quick to point to yet another black hole left by Labor, it's refusing to reveal if it will have to borrow money to fund the project or when it will be budgeted. The opposition used most of question time to accuse the Community Services Minister of ignoring 600 briefs about children in state care from the Department of Human Services. Not one question of substance in relation to the protection of children from a government who placed children in harm's way. For the Minister to be saying that questions about vulnerable kids are not relevant, are not questions of substance, is an outrage, an outrage. The government says it's another Labor mess it has to sort out. Anna MacDonald, ABC News, Melbourne.